All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about finding the polynomial with the given zeros. So in this particular problem, they give you the zeros and they're asking for the polynomial here. OK, so they want to know the equation of this polynomial. All right. So we have to work in reverse here. We're given the zeros. So what you want to say to yourself is, well, where did these come from? Well, essentially what this is saying is x equals 2 x equals negative 2, x equals 3 plus i. And be careful here, right? Even though it's not listed, we know that since we're dealing with i here, okay, this is going to have a complex conjugate, and that's going to be the following, x equals 3 minus i. Because remember where i comes from. It comes from the square root of negative 1, right? i equals the square root of negative 1. So you know here, right, that i has to be either plus or minus, all right? So if they give you one, just make sure you list the other as well, all right? So we essentially have here, right, four answers here for x, right? So x equals 2, x equals negative 2, x equals 3 plus i, and x equals 3 minus i. So you need to say to yourself, well, where did these come from? So remember, when you solve polynomials, right, you set it equal to 0, and the goal is to factor and then you take each one of those factors, set it equal to zero, and solve for x. So for example, this in its factored form would be the following. It would be x minus two. This one would be x plus two. Okay, this one would be x, and I'm gonna put in parentheses here, minus, right, three plus i, okay? And this one would be x, minus, and again in parentheses, 3 minus i, okay? And this would all be equal to 0, all right? So again, you would take each one of your factors here and solve for x, and that's where these came from, okay? So we're going to work in reverse, so we simply want to multiply this all out. So this is how we're going to get the polynomial here with these zeros. So you want to break this up into parts, all right? We're going to work on that part, and then we're going to work on this part, and then we will um, multiply the two once we get a final answer on both, okay? So let's work on this side. We know that this is simply going to be a difference, right, of two squares, and when we go ahead and do FOIL here, we're gonna get x squared, right? Again, outside and inside will simply cancel, and you're left with minus four, okay? So that whole thing is x squared minus four. Let's work on this, okay? So first thing is first, you're going to want to go ahead and distribute this negative inside the parentheses. So when I do that, I'm going to get x minus 3 minus i. And I'm going to get x minus 3. And then I'll get plus i here. Okay? Now we want to go ahead and multiply l. So just starting with your first term, you're going to go ahead and multiply each of your terms, and then you go on to your second, right? Do the same thing. So starting with x, we're gonna do x times x, we get x squared. So I'm gonna write it, we should probably write this in a different color. We get x squared, okay? Now we're gonna do x times a negative three, so negative three x. Then we do x times i, and we get um, positive i x, okay? Now moving on to negative three, so negative three, times x, negative 3x. Negative 3 times a negative 3, plus 9. Okay, negative 3 um, times a positive i, we're going to get negative 3i. Okay, now moving on right here, negative i. So negative i times x, negative ix. Negative i times a negative 3, positive 3i, okay? And we're going to do negative i times a positive i, and we're going to get negative i squared, okay? At this point, we want to go ahead and clean this up and combine any like terms that we may have. So just underlining those, we have a negative 3x, a negative 3x, okay? So we can combine that, right? So why don't we go ahead and do that first? So we're going to get x squared. So a negative 3x and negative 3x, we know we're going to get negative 6x. So if you want, you can go ahead and cross it out so you know you already used it. <clears throat> All right, so let's take a look at what else 
we can combine here. Well, I have a positive ix here, okay, and a negative ix. Well, that's simply just going to cancel, right? They'll simply cancel each other out. Okay, moving on. So I have a negative 3i and a positive 3i. So again, cancels each other out. And then look what happens here. I have an i squared. Remember what i squared is. i squared is simply going to be negative 1, right? So rewriting this part right here, you have a negative, right? And then this whole i squared is negative 1. So two negatives, right, are going to make a positive. So it's really positive 1. So I have positive 1 and a 9 that's going to make plus 10. All right, so plus 10. All right, so at this point, we want to go ahead. We got this part done, we got this part done, and we're just going to simply multiply the two now. So cleaning up this work, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to erase this work here because we're done. Just erasing this work. And let's go ahead and just write it side by side. So we have x squared minus 6x plus 10. Okay. And we are multiplying here, so let's use parentheses here and here. And parentheses here and here. All right? Okay. So again, we're just going to start with x squared, and we're going to multiply each of our terms, right? So we get x squared times an x squared. Well, that's going to be x to the fourth, right? x squared times a negative 6x. So that's going to give us negative 6x to the third. x squared times 10, we get plus 10x squared. All right, moving on to negative 4. So negative 4 times an x squared, negative 4 x squared, negative 4 times a negative 6x plus 24x, okay? Negative 4 times 10, right? We get negative 40 here, okay? Again, all we have to do now is go ahead and um, combine our like terms. So it looks like we have like terms here and here. So we can go ahead and write our final answer. So we're going to have x to the 4th minus 6 x cubed, right, and we have a 10x squared minus 4x squared, so it's going to be plus, right, 6x squared, okay, plus 24x minus 40. So this here is going to be your final answer. So this is the polynomial with these zeros. So again, we were given the zeros and we were able to find the polynomial, okay, with those given zeros. All right, and that is it.